Hi everybody, Lori here for Honeybee Stamps. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have a colorful floral project to share with you using one of the new Lovely Layers Honeycut set. This one is called the Anemone, Lovely Layers Anemone. And it you can create three layers to create this gorgeous bloom. So the first one I'm doing out of shades of fuchsia. There's three shades can't really tell in the video but one's darker medium and light and then I am going to do one out of purple so we're doing pink and purple and confession time I was calling this anemone for the longest time the lovely layers anemone and then somebody said I think it's anemone and then I googled it and it's anem anemone anemone it's like a tongue twister for me it's one of those things that I have a glitch I'm probably going to pronounce it wrong throughout this video but here's where I got tripped up because I knew there was a sea anemone, but there's also a floral anemone. You probably already know all this, okay? I don't know. I think I live under a floral rock, but uh, I want to say anemone, but it's anemone. Anywho, once I cut the three layers, I'm going to add a little gradient love with some ink blending. I have some Raspberry Bliss Pink Fresh Studio ink, and I'm giving a little once over. I'm using the Waffle Flower Media Mat to blend on which is great and so this is the lightest shade of the pink anemone and uh giving it a little gradient love so there's your pink anemone let's see how many times i can say anemone in this video okay now here's a purple one i'm using candy violet for this one and giving it just a little once over little gradient love is where the magic is at so there's the middle layer and then the third yeah i honestly think in the honey cut in the honey bee stamps uh, products the lovely layers are some of my most favorite products ever if you ever look at the lovely layers they have all these gorgeous blooms pine cones and i mean they're just delicious is what they are and now you know i googled anemone and there are a lot of white ones and i noticed the design team did a lot of white ones soft ones but there's also some bold in your face colorful ones which just lit my fire so i thought hey let's do a pink and purple and live on the edge and so now here you know you you know what i always say judge it like your life depends on it i mean when you got petals when you got leaves you gotta judge them to the high heavens bend it and uh, just give it a little air little lift and there you have it now for the centers of the anemone I have two, like a black, a dark charcoal, and then that same pink, like the darkest pink. I'm not really sure. I think there's a lot of different ways you can do the centers of these. When I did my um, short bit of research, you can see a lot of different flowers have different looking centers. So I think, you know, there's really no right and wrong. I just kind of went with the gut. But for that little inner circular part, I add a little bit gradient because once you go gradient you got to go gradient or go home like you add it and then you go you add it to everything so I had to give it just a little bit on the side and same with the purple just a little bit of uh, gradient on the side a little bit of blending okay and then I'm going to stack these up I'm not using any dimensional yet right now I'm using that honeybee glue tube which works like a charm and so I'm, I don't know what the word for the term for the center of the anemone is. I bet one of you guys know. I should have Googled that because I love to give little neat, uh, what do you call it? useless trivia facts in my videos. So there's the center. I'm going to Google it right now. Okay, here's what the Google said. It is a crown of tightly packed pistols around a mound of stamens. There you go. There you go. Okay, I now I'm die cutting some green leaves, a variety of shades, and to keep it spicy, I'm adding a little crushed olive distress ink. You know what I say? Blend it hard or blend it home. That's just a new one for me. I just pulled that one out of my back pocket. Blend it hard or blend it home. Blend it hard or go home. And uh, you know what? I apologize right now because this video is just getting way too goofy. But okay, now for I have a white card base. For a little uh, pattern paper, I'm using some of this vintage holiday, this kind of a, it almost looks like a gray fabric. And I trimmed it down to three and a half by four and three fourths tall. And that gives you that delicious white border. And I'm gonna nestle these two blooms right in the center. 
And um, I love the pink and purple. I almost did pink and red because you do see a lot of red anemones, but you also see pink and purple. Now, I'm not sure if you're going to see them in the holidays because I do mostly see a lot of white. But whatever the case, live your life. So now I'm just tucking in the leaves. And um, by the way, did you notice I'm sporting a little green nail polish? <laughs> um, I, never wear nail pol I never wear nail polish these days. I used to back in the day wear it all the time. But my daughter Bailey, she wanted to do something fun and fallish. So she went and bought this green polish, and she knew I love green. By the way, for the sentiment, I'm going to emboss. This is the Love You Bunches stamp set. I'm going to emboss it in white onto black cardstock. And she's like, Mom, I know green's your favorite color. You got to try it. You might love it. And I do like it. I'm just not sure I like it on my nails. You know, I do love green, but I'm not sure if I like green on my nails. Anywho, I thought I'd give it a go. It's kind of pretty for fall, but generally when I do nails, I stay in the pinks. Green, I love to wear it in a shirt. Um, there you have that. Okay, there's that little bit of tidbit. Okay, pop in the sentiment, just nestling it right into those zhuzhed up blooms. And then to finish it off, I'm going to add just a few little sequins. Before I add the sequins, I took a white gel pen and I went around the charcoal gray little crown part of the center and I added little white dots just freehand just little dots to kind of mimic the would it be the pistols or the stamens I don't know but I did it felt right it felt right and I added some sparkling sequins here and there this card is very dimensional because you know dimension is life hello friend I think that was a fitting sentiment. You could definitely customize it. Be a great birthday, anniversary, thinking of you, sympathy, I love you. But hello, friend, is what I'm telling you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.